Healthy living is more than just a lifestyle, it's a destination. And in the brand new book, Dr. Colbert's Health Zone Essentials, you're getting the treasure map for your journey. Dr. Don Colbert is a prolific New York Times bestselling author. As an expert on nutrition and anti-aging medicine, he sold upwards of 10 million books and treated more than 50,000 patients. His newest book offers tips to optimize the gut, brain, and hormones, and explains the benefits of a Mediterranean diet. In Health Zone Essentials, Dr. Colbert combines the wisdom of four previous zone books to help us live healthier, longer lives. Well, Dr. Don Colbert is with us now, and we welcome you back to the 700 Club. It's great to have Thank you, you here. It's great being here. Let's jump right in because I, I love this book because you've kind of <clears throat> consolidated areas that we all need to and want to address, right. Right. but you've made it easy for right. us. Sure. Let's begin with the gut. We hear so much about that, and right. I think even though we've talked about it a lot on the 700 Club, people wonder what's the big deal about the gut? Well, the gut is the foundation of health. That's where literally most disease begins in the gut. In fact, Hippocrates, the father of medicine, said over 2,000 years ago that all disease begins in the gut. And now we're just seeing that he was true, especially autoimmune disease. Most every autoimmune disease starts here in the gut. I just saw it the other day, this week, a lady with rheumatoid arthritis. She was on all these meds, methotrexate, and these bio she had been on biologic meds, nothing helped. I started healing her gut. I put on natural things like Boswellia, curcumin, as well as a natural, uh, I put on a little bit of naltrexone to reset her autoimmune. But the key is I, I healed the gut. I took away the foods that were damaging the gut. And now her arthritis markers are down to normal. Really? It's amazing. Wow. But there's a brain-gut connection. I was just going to mention that. That is huge. Yeah. And so many yeah. people's brains are cloudy because their gut is a mess and so we're again, gonna move down to the gut in okay, a minute or, I mean the brain in a minute but tell us what we have here you've got um, well these are like the training wheels like on a bicycle we need to give them some basic things to help them because 95% of Americans are low in fiber they don't take in enough fiber and fiber is essential and the foods with fiber they're taking are wheat bran and all the grain products with the lectins so that damage the gut with that. Yeah, right. so instead right. let's use cruciferous veggies the stems and the berries high in fiber as well as our fiber zone contains yeah. just a wonderful soluble insoluble fiber that that is wonderful for the gut with prebiotics in it, as well as our probiotic, which is a powerful probiotic mm -hmm. that contains 16 billion colony forming wow. units of some of those powerful probiotics. See, the probiotics literally train our immune yeah. systems. They regulate inflammation. They repair the gut lining. They're critical. They're also in foods like fermented foods, such as, you know, kombucha, kimchi, um, yogurt. That's, um, is cabbage sheep. one of those if it's like a... Like a oh, Oh, yes, cabbage is wonderful. Uh, kimchi is good. Mm -hmm. Sauerkraut's good, but they have to be fermented. fermented. A lot of it, yes. a lot of it, doesn't have the probiotics in yeah. it. Mm -hmm. It's just processed, and it kills all the good bacteria. So we're standing in front of bananas that are green. <laughs> tell me about that, because <laughs> that's not bananas. what I look for when well, I go to the grocery store. You, I love bananas, but once they turn yellow, I give them to my grandkids, because <laughs> green bananas are good for the gut. They're yes. resistant starch. See, the uh, small intestines and the stomach doesn't digest it. It reaches all the way to the large intestines. Mm. It feeds the good bacteria, and it also fuels the intestinal cells. And it's in green bananas, green mangoes, green papayas, as wow. well as also it's contained in uh, yams and sweet potatoes and yucca and taro root. These roots that are wonderful for the gut and olive oil. Oh my goodness! There's this is one of well, I call it one of the power tools for the gut. These high dose really? polyphenols, like high, there's a whole new class of olive oil. The high polyphenol olive oil. Now, I got to warn people, when you take this, it burns. You get a burn in your throat. Oh, really? You may cough, but that's a sign it's really it's good. It's doing its job. It's doing its job. <laughs> it also helps to clean your arteries. It cleans plaque out of the brain. It's amazing, but it's what is so good for the gut. It heals the gut. Well, because cleaning out is something I want to talk to you about. We're talking about power tools here, yes. but this is... Oh, blueberries, one of my favorite yeah, power and tools. They're real, in your book, I was really surprised at how significant they are. Well, it's, again, high in these polyphenols mm -hmm. and, and it's also high in fiber and it's great for the brain as well as this is our breakfast 
scramble. And you say, breakfast scramble? Well, it has some of the most powerful foods. And it has those yams that heal the gut, diced up yams. It has the mushrooms and it has the onions and it has the spinach and also the pasture-raised organic eggs. It has the avocado oil, just a little grass-fed butter and then a little um, turkey sausage. Wow. And so it tastes delicious and yet it's giving you all those good healthy fats. A lot of avocado oil that's cold pressed. Yeah. That's really good for the brain, really good for the gut. And one of the things you say is that each of these things builds on the other, yes. each of these areas. We Talk have, about that. Uh, but we have to start with a foundation of health. It's the gut. And realize that most people in America, their guts are decimated. Why? From antibiotics, from anti-inflammatory meds, from acid blocking yeah. meds, from wheat. Wheat contains 23,788 proteins, any one of which can inflame the gut. Wow. As well as lectins. Lectins are, are foods that literally uh, plant-based foods that contain proteins that literally tear the gut apart, cause leaky gut, like beans, peas, lentils. We've got to repair the gut or we can't follow a Mediterranean diet. Yeah. So talk about the Mediterranean diet. What, uh, what does that look like? What does it include? What do we cut out? <laughs> well, I started writing years ago, my book about 30 years ago was What Would Jesus Eat? Yeah. It's the healthiest diet in the world yeah. and it contains living food. Mm -hmm. That is the key, living food. Here in America, we eat dead food, yeah. processed food. Processed food contains all these chemicals, all of these toxins that literally damage our gut and our brain and set us up for disease. Living foods that are organic mm -hmm. are the best foods for us. And the Mediterranean diet has just that. But what I've done, the Mediterranean diet back years ago contained wheat. Wheat is so damaging, why? Because it's been crossbred and hybridized. It has all these inflammatory proteins that damage our gut. So we need to either cut the wheat out for a season until our gut heals, or we need to uh, at least switch to a grain that won't inflame the gut. Like, so it's not forever. Not forever, yeah. right. And we can still introduce some wheat like, or in the form of sourdough bread because mm -hmm. the, the yeast has taken out most of the gluten. So yes. it's okay to have that once your gut heals. Bread. So that's yeah. the good news about it. So talk about what you have here because people, <laughs> I think we're all confused. I mean, I, I look online at things and everybody's selling something right. and it's right. all the answer to a million things right. and it's confusing. Well, something happens to most every man at around, and woman at around 50. Mm -hmm. The men's testosterone drops. drops. The women's estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone are gone. Yeah. And so the, when men and women come to me, I check all their hormones. 99% mm -hmm. uh, of the time, men's estrogen levels are much, much higher than the women. Wow. And the women, sometimes their testosterone is higher than the husband. Wow. So the roles reverse. And so what I've done is I've, I've developed some training wheels, again, that help thyroid hormones. So many people come to my office, cold hands, cold feet, weight gain, yeah. hair gets brittle, starts to fall out, dry skin. That's low thyroid symptoms, but mm. not necessarily low, sluggish. I support the thyroid with these natural nutrients. Thyroid zone, I developed this because a lot of people, the doctors won't prescribe thyroid hormones. Yeah. So this contains the iodine, the selenium, the natural nutrients support the thyroid as well as testosterone. So many men's testosterone bottoms out around the 50s and their mm -hmm. 50s, 60s, it's even worse. This supports healthy testosterone levels and the hormone zone. This yeah. contains the DIM and the other nutrients that help to balance that estradiol mm -hmm. level. Men so many times have high estrogen and women have low. Yes. It helps to balance it. Yeah. To talk to God about that one. Okay. <laughs> Tell me what this is, really quickly. Okay. Brain, uh, the brain. We want. This is we the, all brain. Need the brain, and this is my brain smoothie, and it contains uh, triple washed organic kale. And people say, I hate kale. I used oh, to I hate love kale. kale. Well, yeah. I, well, so many of my patients hate it. But I said, just try my brain zone smoothie. It contains frozen blueberries, a half a cup mm -hmm. of frozen blueberries that are organic, along with half a cup of triple washed organic organic kale, along with ice and stevia. It makes a delicious drink that's brain boosting. Mm -hmm. And you can substitute frozen strawberries now if you want. That's easy to do in the morning. <laughs> it is. And you can put a little avocado oil if you want it you know, for the healthy fats, which sure. is good. But not olive oil. Olive oil doesn't taste good. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want you to know we have just skimmed the tip of the iceberg, but it's all right in here. And I love that it's really five books in one. You it can is. get more great tips, pages and pages of recipes. It's all inside the brand new book called 
Dr. Colbert's Health Zone Essentials. It is available in stores nationwide. Thank you for keeping oh, us healthy. You. It's always a treasure God bless to have you, you here. Thanks. Bless you too as well.